not a fucking shock. <laughs> but since you're asking, I just really wanted to know, were you wanting some green or a bag of snow? Or was it that you wanted a pirate DVD? Because I'm sorry, I don't have a copy of Finding Dory. <laughs> but good sir, you know, I do aim to please, and though I can't offer you any of these, I wonder if you could please appease me and tell me what piece of me you need. Should I be grateful that you asked instead of forcing it on me, considered presenting it me consensually, even offered to pay a fucking fee? Oh, and what is the going rate for spitting on my civil liberties? If you let me know, I'll try and sort of buy one, get one free. <laughs> I'm curious, really, what it was about me that made you want to reduce me to a mere piece of meat. How does it work? Were you looking for a hand job or a blow job? Because either way, you're going to remain unemployed. You know, it's funny. I was just toyed with the thought that there was something in my look that day. That I was giving off a vibe that I can't really describe. It must have been something in the way that I dressed. Now that I reassess it, I did hear that duffel coats were the new aphrodisiac. <laughs> Shit, I'm a sleazy act. Call me a slut, I should have known better. I could be a great trendsetter and convince myself it wasn't a big deal. Don't make a mountain out of what the media would call a molehill. Cause girls, don't you know that sex sells? He's merely buying. Are you even trying to see it from his point of view? I mean, damn, look at you. He's asked for your consent. It's got to be a fucking compliment, right? <laughs> Except, I don't think that's quite right. You see, despite the fact I like to write and even on the night tried to fight, I slapped you on the head before you ran, you shit, and kicked your motorbike to bits. Did fuck all damage, but I went for it. Screamed at you to dare to come back for it. Despite all that, you still managed to make me feel sick. You still made me feel dirty in my own skin. You still made me feel unsafe three minutes from my own bed. So when it's all done and said, these words don't help me sleep at night. They don't stop me from being scared of the sight of the next pizza guy on a motorbike. My friend called me a superhero, but I'm not, so I'd like to hand in the cloak because it doesn't make me brave that I spoke. It meant I was tired of mm. being afraid of hating mm. the person in my reflection because of some dickhead trying to satisfy his erection. <laughs> so, Mr. Pizza Guy, you may think I'm weak, but I'm still going to speak. I might not be the Hulk, but you won't make me believe that we can't be incredible. Not anymore. So, here's the final score. I'll try and keep it mature. I wish I could eradicate you because your existence makes my brain hurt, but I don't think that'd work because you're like a stray pube. You get rid of one and four more come to the funeral. So. <laughs> I'm just going to say this straight. If you could stop looking for young women on their way home, that'd be just great. Because trust me, they're not looking for you. If I'm honest, I was looking for a chicken sheesh with garlic mayo and chili sauce, and I still bought it, and I ate it, and it was amazing. Bit expensive, but pretty damn tasty. And to answer your question, it was £5.50. That's how much.